Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Here we've got my three Desert Eagle 1911 handguns. Here we've got the full size government model. It has a color case hardened frame, just a beautiful looking and shooting handgun. I've owned this one the longest and I've always enjoyed it and I can't wait to shoot it today. Over here we've got a Commander Desert Eagle 1911. This is custom work done by Outlaw Ordnance. It says, uh, we the people on this side, and on this side it says, our right to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. All laser engraved and Cerakoted. Just a beautiful handgun. Piece of work here, piece of art. But it's meant to be a shooter and not a safe queen. And over here is the... 1911 undercover subcompact 1911 bushingless bull barrel g10 grips three inch barrel just a, a nice shooting handgun all three of these are so i wanted to get them out today feature them and let you guys see them in action so let's go ahead and load them up and i'll take a few shots here we have a desert eagle 1911u the u stands for undercover it's a very small alloy frame g10 grip 1911 that is meant for carry has a four pound trigger pull a six round magazine i have one in the chamber now serrated black rear sights that are adjustable a front dot feels like a full size 1911 but it's not it's the undercover a little bit lighter but you get all the benefits of a full size 1911 let's go ahead we'll start with that seven inch And there it is. It has a bushingless bull barrel, but a smooth shooter for a small little 1911 like this. Definitely a smooth shooter. And I love that single action trigger that breaks right at four pounds. And that little reset right there really keeps you on target. Amazing handgun. We the people customized four and a quarter barrel Desert Eagle. 1911 man this thing is really nice check that out customized laser engraving Cerakote just a beautiful firearm now the people at Outlaw Ordnance they told me don't use this as a safe queen shoot this thing it is customized to hold up over time and i've owned this for about three or four years now and it still looks and performs beautifully here we have a full-size desert eagle 1911 this has the color case hardened frame it is a stunningly beautiful handgun and it's a shooter i've had this for about five years now maybe longer it's been great I changed out the grips to uh, a gray and black G10 grip there. It does have serrated black rear sights and a front black sight. Eight round standard magazines and a trigger that I'm measuring at three and a half pounds right there. Right there with the reset. Very short, lightweight trigger. An amazing handgun. It does have a full length guide rod. Once again, it's a beauty and a shooter all in one. Oh, and I have self-defense loads for this one, just for fun. Let's start with the top right again. Rabbit. That light trigger. And that's one of the things you have to be careful. That light trigger got away from me a little bit. No issue because I have a solid backstop there, but I got right back on target. The three and a half pound trigger, you have to be careful, but an accurate shooting handgun, I love it. And there's that full length guide rod. And that color case hardened really is a sharp looking gun to show off. So which do you like the most? Is it the government size with the five inch barrel and the color case hardened frame? Incredible handgun. Or the custom laser engraved and Cerakoted We The People that is a showpiece and a shooter all in one four and a quarter inch barrel there or the subcompact undercover with a three inch barrel 
quite a bit lighter with the aluminum frame, but a nice shooter as well. I have a high admiration for each of these. I've owned them for a while. I had to get them out to the range and fire them, and of course, show them off to you guys. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching, and you guys be safe.